Okay, so uh, this is the firebox stove uh, with its uh, billy pot on top. Uh, got rocks in the bottom of the billy pot. Uh, used charcoal on the top uh, uh, that we used uh, for barbecuing a few weeks ago, but I just saved the uh, bigger bits. Uh, the metal plate on the uh, below the stove is uh, one I just fabricated so that I could uh, cook on just about any surface without damage, so uh, that's why that's there. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, um, I've got still photos showing uh, 458 or so on the thermometer. I'm going to uh, continue to monitor the thermometer and the time. I've been holding my watch up uh, so that can be seen. Um, and uh, that's about it. I've got, uh, as I said, rocks in the bottom, so I'm hoping to uh, collect heat and then release it so that, uh, kind of like a flywheel effect, we, we uh, don't get a lot of uh, quick changes. So that's, that's about it for here. Then I'll just uh, stop here and, and continue on uh, in a little bit, uh, constantly checking the temperature and, and, and uh, holding my watch up so you can see what time it is. Okay, so the Taylor thermometer is not supposed to go over 450, so, uh, and here we are, we're a little more than five minutes in. We've still got good coals underneath, and uh, the, the uh, uh, charcoal on top is doing fine. Also, I'm uh, making sure that I don't have uh, rocks in the bottom of the billy pot that uh, have entrapped some moisture, because they uh, pop pretty, pretty uh, energetically. If that's the case, so I'm running this up. Oh, this thing is going to go to 500. I, I need to pull the thermometer. Okay. Um, yeah, so uh, here we are, um, um, and I'll check back in in a few minutes. Okay, a little live action here. I'll watch the Taylor thermometer climb. Uh, and here's the time again. Uh, as you can see, we're, we're in about 10 minutes. Um, one thing I'm... Uh, seeing as if I can hold heat for uh, 15 or 20 minutes so I can uh, so I can make some cinnamon rolls in here uh, and it looks like that's going to be entirely possible cinnamon rolls want 400 for 15 or 20 minutes and I'm sure uh, you know it's uh, it's a kind of flexible in that way it seemed to me there was another thing I was gonna oh I um, uh, at the end of this uh, video I'm going to uh, show you the windscreen. Uh, I've, I've often used uh, the uh, cut the bottoms out of large roasting pans to use as wind breaks for my stoves. Uh, I've got a Sve 123 that's a little wind sensitive, but I still use it. And, uh, and so I've kind of fabricated a, a heat shield and I put the, the uh, carbonized felt on top of that and I thought maybe all of that would be necessary. But as you can see, Ten minutes in without feeding fuel into the base, we're still starting to approach the Taylor thermometer's limit of uh, 450. So uh, we're doing great, and uh, I'll check back in. And you got to watch the thermometer do something instead of just listening. There are just a few coals in the bottom, um, and. Uh, Charcoal on top is uh, wearing out a little bit, but uh, not too bad. Um, oh, and uh, it's, uh, I think, pretty clear. It's There's no wind, and let me uh, turn around and show you the dial thermometer here. Uh, we're running 68, so that's making it easy for this uh, t to gain heat and maintain it. Uh, that uh, windscreen I was talking about a little earlier uh, might come into play when it's like 35, 40 degrees out. I, you know, I've, I've got a tent with a, that has a wood stove that goes inside, nice, you know, 10 by 10 foot tent, uh, central pole kind of thing. And um, it's uh, Cabela's, actually. Uh, what do they call it? A LACNAC. And uh, so, uh, uh, you know, this would work outside, and I'm really comfortable in that tent uh, at temperatures I just mentioned. And uh, just so we're uh, on the same page, uh, that's an atomic clock up there, and you can see... I like to do mechanical stuff, so there's a fair amount of mechanical and 
and actually there was some ham radio antennas over there as well but and let's see the time uh, we're over 15 minutes now and the temperature is 400 so uh, we'll just keep an eye on it and uh, uh, check check back okay so we're just about 20 minutes in again the atomic clock over there just you know for confirmation um, and uh, we're just starting to see as you can tell uh, the temp starting to drop off a bit again uh, ambient temperature is nearly room temperature uh, no wind at all so uh, you know makes it really easy to to manage this but I'm, I'm really pleased that I got up to wow like 500 degrees I, I had to pull the Taylor thermometer out uh, well before we got there but it was clearly still climbing and uh, and then, then when did I start uh, oh well no I, I started the the video uh, after I really got everything up to temp so uh, I don't know I started probably 30 40 minutes ago this stove is holding heat like gangbusters uh, of course it's got the charcoal on top still providing some energy and the stove itself probably has some residual heat in it but uh, you know and we've got rocks in the bottom so of the billy pot so all of that's working but pretty darned impressive and and after 20 minutes of you know the flames dying down and stuff uh, making it very plausible to bake here um, and it just uh, kind of oops there the thermometer kicked off uh, let me pause okay back um, yeah, uh, uh, it, it really, I'm just, you know, thinking about uh, uh, baking up some cinnamon rolls or something in the campground and, you know, uh, showing off that I do that. Um, but uh, Steve did, uh, like, uh, biscuits and gravy. That looked great. Uh, I could almost taste it. Uh, he's got a, you know, a, a video he's shared on YouTube doing that with the family. Uh, just, uh, he really, you need to... You don't need to. Uh, I'd I'd uh, recommend his videos. Uh, just heat the food prep and so on. It and he doesn't do a lot of talking. Like I'm doing more talking than's probably necessary. Uh, I really recommend his videos. Uh, lots of good information, and I like they're fun to watch. Uh, what got me got me started and actually got me to buy the firebox stove was uh, he was out uh, hiking with goats. I love that idea. There you go. Well, I think we've just about reached the end of it. That's still a, a useful baking temperature, and we are 25 minutes in. I'm just convinced of that. Um, I'm so glad that the rocks didn't pop. Uh, it, they could have, and I, I wanted to be sure they wouldn't while I was actually trying to bake something. So, so that's been good. Uh, everything about this has been... I mean, the performance has just been right there. Uh, uh, what anyone would expect so now uh, Steve has uh, Steve's the owner of the uh, firebox uh, stove company um, he, he sells a lid where he's already drilled it and and he has a thermometer that fits that hole in the lid and I would recommend that to anybody uh, again I kinda like to fool around with tools so I had a drill press over here and a nice sharp high-speed bit and went through right through that stainless but if you just picked up a, a bit you had lying around and and tried to drill with you know like a cordless drill or something uh, it might just stall and and heat up the tip of the bit and and be frustrating so I'd I'd recommend if you want to do something similar to this that you um, that you buy Steve's uh, lid uh, prepared to to uh, accept a thermometer and he sells a thermometer that goes with that now I'm gonna stop here and oh man I don't know how long it's going to take for the heat to drop off but then I'll uh, put that uh, windscreen kind of heat shield thing around it and show you what that looks like in the event that you know temperatures are down and the it's a little breezy so stopping here okay well as I said I'd show you this uh, windscreen uh, heat uh, capture thing that I came up with is possibly necessary absolutely wasn't in these conditions it's uh, three uh, roasting uh, pan bottoms uh, just st uh, stuck together with paper clips 
which is the way I usually use them out uh, when I'm camping. And then I've got a piece of the carbonized felt uh, on, on top uh, to hold some of the heat in if necessary. Um, and my thinking was, though it wasn't necessary in this case, my thinking was to uh, conserve the heat from the charcoal, but that, that, under these conditions, near room temperature and calm day, not at all necessary. It went right to 500. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching.